Nuclear fission was discovered by the end of 1938 during experiments which seek to reproduce the Italian physicist Fermi's attempt to create transuranium elements. Fermi and his research group tried this by inducing beta minus decay through neutron irradiation, where a neutron decays into a proton, electron, and an electron antineutrino, with the latter two then being emitted. This method had previously worked for elements with lower proton number. The scientists Grosse and Nagos, however, doubted that elements larger than uranium existed and thought Fermi had created protactinium with Z equal 91, which would work thanks to beta plus decay, where a proton decays into a neutron, positron, and an electron neutrino. This sparked the interest of Otto Hahn, Lise Meitner, and Friedrich Strassmann in Berlin, who started investigating which elements were actually created and were quickly able to prove the absence of protactinium. Eventually, they found that the resulting elements had to be either radium or barium due to their chemical properties, but initially ruled out barium since its proton number was so low relative to uranium. But after four years of research, Hahn and Strassmann finally proved that the experiment created barium rather than radium. They told Meitner, who was by then in exile, about the result, and she and her nephew Otto Frisch used Weizsäcker's liquid drop model to explain the behavior of the nucleus. According to that, the neutron causes the nu nu nucleus to oscillate and then split into two, which happens because of the different forces at work. Usually, the dominant force over such short distances as those in the core of an atom is the very short-range strong interaction. However, for larger nuclei, the Coulomb force, which has much longer range, also needs to be considered and can make the core unstable. Once nuclear fission was discovered, scientists quickly started to think about how neutrons freed during the fission process could allow for a self-sustaining chain reaction. Scientists like Fermi, Einstein and Silla started warning Roosevelt that the Nazis might be developing nuclear weapons. The Manhattan Project soon started, leading to the bombings of Japan and causing death and devastation never seen before.